this uh, question is about uh, light chain deposition disease and the correlation that can exist with multiple myeloma. Light chain deposition disease is one of those disorders that is uh, less likely to be seen in people with myeloma, but uh, considered rare as a disease, 50% of patients with light chain deposition disease do have multiple myeloma that actually give symptoms. The treatment is a little bit different, and we tend to use the same treatments that we do for patients with light chain amyloidosis where different organs can be affected, and that's because the light chain deposition disease means that the light chains are deposited in organs like the kidneys, the heart, the lungs, the bowels, the soft tissue, in the same way that amyloid can uh, actually make it happen. So the treatment is similar to what we do for amyloidosis, and it's less recognized sometimes because of uh, its rarity, but the reality is that the treatment is as important as we treat myeloma. Since 50% of these patients do have symptomatic myeloma, we treat more like myeloma, meaning the patients do require a more chronic treatment. But there are some people that do have less than 10% of plasma cells, which is the arbitrary number that we use to define multiple myeloma. And those patients sometimes require treatments that are actually less continuous. And the main thing is to provide with the best clonal killing so they don't make more light chains that go and deposit into organs. And at the same time, we care for the function of those organs, hoping that they will get a good hematological response that will translate into better organ function, whether it's the kidneys, whether it's the heart, whether it's the lungs, or whichever organ that is affected. So most of our patients actually with uh, light chain deposition disease might have myeloma, but that represents a very small fraction of patients that truly have uh, symptomatic myeloma associated to this condition. The real epidemiological uh, aspect of the disease is a no because it's rare, so we don't really have good uh, epidemiological data in Canada, but it's expected to be as similar as light chain amyloidosis is, and we have some indirect evidence that amyloidosis affect anywhere between 9 to 12 patients per million. So light chain deposition disease is expected to be the same. And the treatments are similar. There is nothing approved for light chain deposition disease, so we tend to use the treatments that are approved for myeloma to actually try to get better outcomes in that population. So transplant is something that we consider for patients that are eligible. Uh, bortezomib, ethmids, uh, and uh, novel treatments are also used in the same way for those people that qualify as multiple myeloma.